My friends, we're just about to Apex Wetworks. We're gonna pick up the TSX. That, oh, I'm gonna have a light here. Dang it, <laughs> I was on a roll. And today I have a special guest in the car. This is Dylan from North Carolina, right? Yep. Yeah. And uh, just how happened that he's here for work on the day I'm picking up this TSX. So let's go check it out. All right, here we go. Oh man, look at it. She is a beaut. All right, guys. Here it is, about two months later, I think, since I dropped this thing off. Yeah. Just soaking in all the glorious paint. Look at this side, totally pristine. And these are the uh, new headlights that we put in. So you can see they're crystal clear lenses as well as the fogs down here. And this is, again, pretty unique to the Accord Euro R. Put out for you. Oh, they right even there. got seals. Oh, yeah, because I know it didn't come with that. No. Just makes it look so very very complete that actual little rubber lip and then here's a look so even on the back seals there and here's the spoiler that they painted initially so the issue that we ran into and I'll try and do the best I can to show you this but uh, the mounting points over here when you push on it are, you know, this is a hard piece. However, on this side, there's some give to it. And they said that when you close the trunk lid, it would almost like wiggle and vibrate a little bit. So this is gonna have to get uh, redone. I'm gonna source a different spoiler to start with and uh, we'll go back to the drawing board. The other thing that I'm gonna be working on is sourcing some new roof rail moldings. So these are in decent shape. However, there's a little bit of uh, fading on them and the clips are gonna to have to be replaced anyway. So gonna work on finding those. And then that's really kind of the last couple pieces to get the TSX put back together. All right, time to hit the road. All right, welcome back to the TSX. Where the heck is my van control? I don't know how to run this. Let's see. AC, okay, I just need fan down, it's too loud. All right, welcome back. I gotta relearn how to drive this car after two months. Uh, 188 463 on the odometer and uh, batteries on its last leg so well, that'll get addressed here shortly but it's really fun to be back in the TSX I forgot how much I missed this car over the last couple months and um, it's 92.6 percent there I got to get the roof trim the replacement spoiler and really other than that um, just kind of dial it in to 100% and call it a day. But uh, Dylan, what do you think? You're a TSX aficionado. Did I do the right thing with this one? Absolutely. <laughs> All right, well, let's go get some lunch. Look at that paint. I mean, it is just glistening all the way around. I'm gonna have Dylan drive this thing just to give him a, a whirl in it. Now, one thing that's interesting, the uh, rear tailpipes, you're supposed to extend out when you have the kit on the car. Obviously, I didn't do that here, so they're inset a little bit, but it'll have to do the trick. Dylan's gonna give her a whirl here. There she goes. Back on the road. how you reacquire a GPS signal in a car that's 15 years old. <laughs> We're gonna be here a minute. Had to reconnect the battery after a fresh install. The old one was only three years old, but uh, due for replacement. Plus I wanted a Honda OE battery, so 
let's try this out. junkyarding today for TSX stuff. Unfortunately, I struck out. I was looking for a replacement spoiler and this car had one, but it's gone. So we'll keep our search onward here. Here's another one rolling on Steelys. Looking good. Also doesn't have any parts I need, I don't think. Final details on the TSX and it's gonna bother me to no end. When I changed the battery, I noticed that there was a lot of dirt underneath the tray here. So of course I had to take the battery back out and properly remove all this plastic enclosure so I could scrub it out. And now it's time for the reassembly process. This is where the RSX comes in handy. I'm picking up some roof rail moldings for the TSX and they take the entire length of the car to fit in here. Love my license plates that I get for my showroom display in case anybody wants to order one of these. They are available on eBay. The seller's name is Race City Retro. Um, they run, I wanna say about 20 bucks a pop, but they're super cool for display purposes. Currently dropping off the TSX one more time. This time we're getting a replacement spoiler. The one that I got before had some issues with cracking and wasn't seating flush on the trunk lid. So this is a better one. And uh, the next time we see this car, it will be completed. It'll have the in installed window molding moldings as well. Doing final pickup on the TSX today. One last time at Apex where it received a spoiler, a replacement spoiler, I should say, uh, compared to the one I had before, as well as newly installed, wait for this light rail to pass by, newly installed roof molding. So believe it or not, these are still available new from the dealership. It's one continuous piece that runs all the way down on either side of the front windshield. And holy crap, this car looks good. Red, white, and blue. Doing a quick garage swap and I'm really just soaking up this Arctic blue paint. In the direct sunlight, it's a really phenomenal color. Had to do a little bit of rework here. The interior brake light was also lighting up in addition to the spoiler, so I went ahead and just took the bulb out up, up there. And luckily it doesn't set off any dash lights. I know on the Legends, um, if you pull, or pull a bulb or have a burned out bulb, it will give you a warning, but this car does not seem to. So then I'm gonna drop off the TSX for a replacement clutch. There's no slipping when the car's in gear under load. It just has some uncomfortable sort of dynamics with a very low engagement point on the pedal, as well as occasional grinding that I just wanna see if a clutch can resolve it. So we'll drop this off here at Import Powerhouse for them to take a look at it. It looks totally different than the clutch yeah, we got. Right um, and it, it, what it is is a lot of times that's what happens and you gotta adjust the pedal and adjust like the readjust the throw and stuff. Holy cow, this car is like night and day. The gearbox is so much smoother. It just, it didn't have characteristic Honda sort of flawlessness to it. And I had a feeling that it was clutch related, even though there was no slipping. And now it's very clear that that was the issue. Uh, it goes in and out of gears, just like every perfect Honda stick shift I've ever, ever driven. Gonna leave the TSX back seat for a pair here. This is a little hole that got punched in it under the prior owner so we'll get that fixed up here at trim fit so by the way yeah this is trim fit upholstery the uh, guy's name is naro he's worked on all my cars that have had leather repair done in fact the recent legend coupe restoration that i walked you guys through uh, was done here it took a matter of a couple months time but was very very much worth the wait so that you guys can experience this with me, I wanted to show you this package I got, which is gonna have some brand new floor mats. Wow. 
Wow, very nice. Brand new floor mats. This guy packaged them like crazy. eBay acquisition, check that out. Those are super sweet. Check those out, very nice. The all important pad replacement. I have two of these, ready to rock and roll. Get rid of that crusty old clutch pedal and brake pedal pad and get some new ones on there. There we go, new stuff installed. Old is hitting the trash. I had the TSX seat in for repair on the bottom cushion of the rear. And because I was not sure if I would get that back in time for this car's showroom debut, I put the ILX back seat in here, <laughs> knowing that the dimensions in the cars were similar. And believe it or not, I didn't even snug it all the way back up toward the rear, but this seat works perfectly in here. That is the ILX back seat bottom. In fact, here you can see them side by side and they are so similar. Looks like the TSX is on the left, just a teeny bit longer width and a little bit different cushion pattern, but they're so close. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and get that reinstalled here so the car is good to go. All set, reinstalled, and ready to rock and roll. By the way, this is a comparison of the old floor mats. You can't even see the TSX logo here, and there are holes worn where the heels would go because this car has 189,000 miles on it. That is the new driver floor mat that is minty fresh.